This is how I was able to raise over a hundred million dollars to flip more than 500 houses in the last five years using a little unknown tool called the self-directed IRA. My name is Charles Wyram, AKA the Handsome Home Buyer, Long Island's number one fix and flip investor. I flipped over 500 houses in the last five years. What is a self-directed IRA? A self-directed IRA essentially gives power to the person that owns the IRA and allows them to essentially invest in whatever it is that they want to invest in. So a typical IRA is given to a money manager or is put in the stock market by mutual funds, and that's it. Fund managers ding the accounts, and the returns really aren't that great. When you have a self-directed IRA, you can invest in all kinds of non-conventional things, such as you can lend money on real estate deals, you can lend money on you know, investing in a company in an IPO, you can invest in the stock market. You can basically do anything you want. The only thing the IRS says that you can't do, is you can't buy, invest in collectibles and you can't buy insurance, but anything else is pretty much open. So why as an investor do you want to utilize the self-directed IRA and why I think it's the most untapped resource for raising money to do any kind of real estate deal or private deal out there? The biggest reason is this, when you're looking to raise money and someone's giving you money, if they have that money in their bank account, A, they might not have the money to give you. Things are tight, cost of living is up, people don't necessarily have the money to give it. Plus, once they give it to you, it's gone. They can physically see it in their bank account before, once they give you the money, there's an emotional reaction there. Now, when you're talking about retirement accounts, people can't touch them. Until you're 65 years old, people can't touch those retirement accounts. And there are literally trillions of dollars sitting in IRAs that are being underutilized and people are getting lousy returns where you as a real estate investor or an investor of any kind have the ability to offer these people seven, eight, 10, 20, even 25% return on their money. There are literally trillions of dollars that are sitting in IRA accounts making one, two, three, four, five, six percent return on their investment you as an unconventional investor have the ability to help these people earn eight ten twenty even 25 plus percent on their money depending on what you're investing in and how it performs how does it work if you're someone that's looking to help people utilize the self-directed ira in order to raise funds and help them explore their retirement account you're going to have to be an expert in exactly how to put these together the good news is it's not very complicated it all starts with an IRA custodian. An IRA custodian is essentially a person or a company that facilitates the IRA. They are the custodian, they hold the IRA. I use Next Generation Trust Services, no plug there. I just use them for the last 10 or 15 years and they've done great. So essentially, I open this self-directed IRA or I do a rollover from a different IRA. If you have a pre-existing 401k, if you have a pre-existing Roth, if you have pre-existing SEP, whatever it is, you can roll it into the same thing as an IRA. So they, as the custodian, will open up the account and they will essentially be the custodian of those funds. So you're probably asking, how does the custodian make money? What are the fees associated with this? I'm trying to leave my money manager because he's feeing me to death. I don't want to jump from the frying pan into the fire. Well, custodians are very, very inexpensive. There's two ways that they charge you. There's either a percentage. So whatever money they have under management, if you have 100,000 or 200,000 or 10,000, whatever it is in your IRA, they take a very small percentage of that. The other option is the flat fee option. So it's a flat fee based on the number of assets that the IRA owns. So if the IRA owns one asset, in this case, they charge $325 per asset. But what if you wanna buy multiple assets? What if you wanna buy three apartment buildings, you wanna invest in a bunch of different stocks, you wanna have an IPO, whatever it is, are they gonna be charging you per asset? Now, you're also probably thinking, I've dealt with my IRA before, I've dealt with my 403B, I've borrowed money against my IRA, it's always a pain. I always have to call somebody up, I have to fill out paperwork, it takes me two, three, four weeks to get the money, it's an absolute nightmare. Well, not with the self-directed IRA if you set it up properly. What I'm gonna show you now is how you can minimize the fees that you're gonna to pay to the custodian and make it as easy as possible for you to access that money anytime you need it. And the way you do that is you open up an LLC that is owned by the IRA. Very, very, very important that you have an attorney who really knows their stuff. Typically, they're an ERISA attorney. An ERISA attorney is someone that deals with retirement accounts typically. 
they'll open up this LLC that is owned by the IRA. So what happens is the IRA money goes into the custodian. You put your 10,000, 100,000, whatever it is, into your IRA account with the custodian. You then have the ERISA attorney open up an LLC that is owned by the IRA. Do not go on LegalZoom and try to do this on your own. There has to be very specific documents that state within the LLC documents that the IRA is the owner of the LLC. You as an individual are not the owner of the LLC. Once you have your LLC, that is opened up, the custodian will wire the money into any traditional bank accounts. You can go to Bank of America, Chase, TD Bank, any commercial bank. You can open up a bank account under that LLC name. The custodian will then fund the bank account with the funds that are sitting in your account. And now you have a checkbook, power of the pen, and you can cut checks as you see fit to pretty much invest in whatever it is you want, just as long as you adhere to the mandated guidelines that the IRS states. The best part is, it doesn't matter if you have hundreds of millions of dollars in your IRA. It doesn't matter if you own one building or a hundred buildings. The only thing you pay to the custodian every year is that one flat fee for $325,000. So now that you understand how the self-directed IRA works and how it's an amazing vehicle for you to raise money and help people really earn a lot of money in their retirement account, how do you get people over from a traditional IRA into a self-directed IRA? And then how do you get them to invest in you? So, this is two parts. Obviously, people have to be comfortable investing in you. Once they're invested in you, what I've found has been very helpful in the future, which is what helped me raise over $100 million through self-directed IRAs is you give classes on how it works. So basically what I would do is I would do Zooms, I would do lives on Instagram, I would do lives on Facebook, whatever I had to do, where I would essentially teach classes on a weekly basis on exactly how this works. What the benefits of self-directed IRAs, how you put them together, vendors that I recommend that I think have done a great job, like Next Generation, as I mentioned earlier. And through that process, people will come to you and say, listen, I love what you're doing. I appreciate the knowledge. I would love to have a sector like that IA that I can buy real estate with, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that right now, or I don't have the time, or I have another job, or I don't feel like I have enough money, or I don't have the education to do it. I would much rather use my self-directed IRA money backed by real estate that you're owning in a town or an area that I feel comfortable with and invest with you. And that's exactly what happens. So a certain percentage of people will take that information and they'll do it on their own, which is great, good for them. We all have to help each other. But the overall majority of people that tune into these sessions where you teach how self-directed IRAs work, they will end up investing with you. What I also did is I reached out to my existing investor base and I told them, listen, you guys are very happy with the return that we're giving you right now. How would you like it if I can give you that same return in your retirement account and you can either defer the tax or get that return tax-free? And that's how we were able to literally double the amount of capital we had under management within three months from our existing investor base and then explode to that $100 million mark within 12 months. So if you're someone that has a self-directed IRA or an IRA of any kind and is interested in investing with us, you can go to handsomehomebuyer.com backslash invest. If you like this video, if you found value in it, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.